All right, this will be a short one, even though there's a crazy amount of stuff going on. Look at the links, lots of good links. Uh, thanks to all you guys that are actually checking out the math. Great that there's links to Crew Down Ramones House of Math down there. Um, two links that I really want to uh, put out there. One is the Become a Delegate link, but the other one is Goldbug Show. Puts out a video every Saturday or so. The guy actually does this thing called editing, <laughs> and he's so much better than... Uh, mine and a lot of other people's because he actually edits and he puts you know news stories in there and and edits stuff together that are very good for sharing his channel should have way more views than it does way 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 more views thank you so much to all the people that are supporting me though also because I've got like twenty thousand views now it's crazy um, and also of course Ron Paul girls if you just want to get a smile that some of them are are uh, you know good looking girls being good looking. But there is also a uh, video there that, uh, you know, makes you think, and it shows that, you know, just because they're good-looking. Because we have this thing in the United States, if you're good-looking, you can't be smart, which is ridiculous. But there's some good-looking, sexy women that are absolutely for Ron Paul, which breaks the stereotype of these, you know, anyway, the stereotype that some of the Democrats would like to have for the Republicans for Ron Paul. Um... Also, you like I said, I won't. You won't see a lot of links against Santorum and Gingrich and Romney because all you got to do is look at their, their their records. If you do just a little bit of searching, I mean, these guys are not who you want for president. Um, as simple as that. Ron Paul is for Constitution, against war, and you know wants to wants to end the Fed or at least give you an option for competing currency with the Fed and do some. Uh, you know, auditing of the Fed so the American people can wake up to the fact of what's being, you know, how they're getting screwed. Um, whereas these guys, if they had their way, um, they wouldn't mess with the Fed because the bankers paid for that, or, you know, everything. Um, Ron Paul, most votes in most primaries, but they don't count them, right? Maine was the greatest one. It's like, oh, we didn't count 15% of the votes, and we know this uh, precinct or this caucus is going to be uh, you know, pro Ron Paul and probably heavily weighted for Ron Paul. So let's move it till next week so we don't count it for this week. I mean, they're pulling out all the stops. Okay, but it doesn't matter because it's about the delegates. Right? And if you watch the Goldbug Show's channel, right, uh, he talks about that very clearly, nicely edited, right, that you should be putting on the walls and sharing with your friends and all over the place. I'm telling you, the guy's channel's great. Can't say enough about it. It should have more subscribers. should have way, way more views. Um, but check out the links that I've gathered and, uh, share them with your friends, use them to their best effect, figure out how to become a delegate. Again, the, the main points in every video, figure out how to become a delegate, authenticate and verify for the, for the ones that are coming up and go back and authenticate and verify for the ones that we've already had and prosecute if you can find vote fraud, that's obvious. And the super PAC is looking for that information. So blog about it, you know, document it, take pictures and so forth. People are saying, just take your camera down to the to wherever you go to vote and ask questions. And ask simple questions. Don't be annoying, <laughs> right? Be, be, be sincere. And you'll see that people really are, you know, for Ron Paul. And he's got wild, wild, wild support everywhere you go. And it's not just the young kids. I mean, it's across the board. I mean, take a look at the guy at, at Gold Bug, the Gold Bug Show's channel, and then take a look at me. We were for the same guy. Right? It's the ideas. It's not the 76-year-old white guy. It's the ideas. Right? Constitution. Right? Peace. Like, and then these people, especially like these evangelicals and Christians and so forth, suddenly do on to others as you would have them do on to you. Yeah, we like all that stuff about Jesus except that part. Or, yeah, we're evangelicals, but we're not the Prince of Peace. Now we want war. We want to go to war with Iran, which is insanity. We want to go to war with the Muslims because the Prince of Peace would be all about going to war, R right, okay, so, I mean, the Christians, I can't see where, I mean, Ron Paul comes from the point of view of the Christian doctrine, when it's like, okay, if you come and mess with us, we will finish you, right, but nobody was coming to mess with us, what happened is the military industrial complex and the bankers, they have all these toys, and they need to use them, so they make up phantoms, and they make up because it just winds up, you know, more military, more, right? We need to have the strongest military in the world. We spend more mili more on our military than all the other countries combined, and that's because there's bad guys out there. And if there's no bad guys out there, we'll make bad guys up to go defeat. All right, what we need to do is bring the guys home. This is, I mean, just it's sanity. And then 
we have the strongest military. The entire world knows it. If you come and mess with the United States, why would you? I mean, nobody's coming. Like I said, a hundred times, nobody's coming. Even without our military, everybody here owns a gun. Right? As I said, the Asian, the, the Japanese said we would never try to invade the United States because there'd be a gun behind every blade of grass. That's the protection of the United States, is the fact that we are an armed populace. Right? And they try everything they can to disarm you. But it's in the Constitution. And this is what has, I mean, that is the strength of the United States. That's also the strength of the Ron Paul supporters, is because we believe in the Constitution, and many, many Ron Paul supporters are Second Amendment. Right? So, it makes, and I tell you, it makes a big difference. And even the Occupy Wall Street guys are trying to find out when the militia show up with guns. I think there was a great video in, in uh, I tried to dig that one up, in Arizona. Everything was suave. Everything was peaceful and quiet. Cops weren't, you know, pepper spraying and throwing tear gas. It was just a nice, quiet demonstration because the Second Amendment protects the First Amendment. And liberals are starting to figure that out. Right? Okay. So anyway, Ron Paul, you don't need to be against the other guys, you just need to be for Ron Paul. Show his ideas, show, like there's a great video I have below talking, um, in just Ron Paul talking about foreign policy. Instead of mutual uh, assured destruction, how about mutual respect? What a concept. Is that isolationist? Is that Christian? Right, for those of you that claim to be Christians, I like the flying spaghetti monster, personally. But, you know, for what whoever you are, do unto others as, as they, you would have them do unto you, is a pretty, you know, in all scriptures, whether you're Jew, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, whatever, even the flying spaghetti monster, just, you know, treat other people the way you want to be treated. That should be our foreign policy. Trade with all, right? Entangling the nine alliances with none. This is what our founding fathers wanted. Why is this difficult? Well, it's difficult because there's more money in war. There's not as much money in peace for the elite. There's much more money in peace for all of us, though, if you think about it. Because we could afford a lot, right? I mean, the money that we spend on the military, we could have sparkling, crystal clear water coming out of every tap in the United States for that money. Think about it. Just water. I mean, we could have the best roads, the best bridges, the best schools, the best, 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 right? But no. Right? We spend the money on war. We spend the money, right? We could, I mean, going out in space exploration, we, we could, no. We spend the money on war. We spend the money on bailing out the bankers. All right. We need to return to sanity, and we need to return to prosperity in this country. But there's going to be pain first. And this is the other thing I have to bring up, you know, gold bug channel and so forth, is that with the Federal Reserve, that FRN is going to collapse. There's no two ways around it. Ron Paul isn't saving the FRN, but, and our, which means there's going to be pain. People need to understand this. Just because Ron Paul gets in doesn't mean everything's hunky-dory and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> everything's happy now and you can go back to sleep. Now, you, you, the, once you get Ron Paul in, even more vigilance will be required because of a lot of things. But that's that's the absolute truth. So if you're going to go out, you know, thinking that Ron Paul is going to fix the world and save it, well, you know, you got another thing coming because it's a lot more work than that. But he can certainly make a big difference, right? And this movement is, after Ron Paul is gone, it, this movement needs to keep going. And when I say Ron Paul's gone, you know, 20 years from now, Ron Paul's not going to be around, most likely. He's already 76. But the movement, the ideas of returning to the Constitution, small government, peace, right, prosperity, individual liberty, right, having a financial system that is, you know, beneficial to the most people, not the fewest. These things are ideals that have to be worked at for generations. Because what happened is, my generation and the generation before mine and the generation before that went to sleep and they let these guys take over and now we wake up and look around and go ooh, things not so good anymore okay so we need to restore the republic get back to the constitution ron paul is the figurehead now he is the man but there must be others that rise up anyhow lots and lots of links thank you for your support goldbug shows channel is awesome link that subscribe to that send it to your friends and I'll talk to you soon. Get out there, become a delegate. And like I said, like Grandma says, don't let the stuff you can't do stop you from doing the stuff you can't do.